everyone, it's Marilyn. Welcome back to KK's Quilt Studio. If this is your first time viewing one of my YouTubes, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down in the lower right hand corner of this video. We are going to talk today about Art and Stitch. I am a certified teacher of Art and Stitch and we're going to talk today in particular about Art and Stitch Plus. Art and Stitch Plus is an add-on feature to Art and Stitch Base, which if you own a long arm, you may have purchased Art and Stitch Base with your long arm system. Plus is an additional purchase, and it was uh, in the past primarily for those of us who owned embroidery machines. But with the capabilities and advancements of long arm systems, now we're able to do more with our long arm machines. So I've done blogs in the past about um, stitching out embroidery designs that were converted to stitch out on my long arm system. And um, I'll point you in the direction of that blog down below in the comments and we're going to talk about these new features that have been added to Art and Stitch Plus. So if you are an Art and Stitch Plus owner, a registered user, you should have received an email earlier this week regarding the latest update, the latest free update, did I say free, of uh, version 7. So only if you own Plus will you be able to update to version 7. Check out that email. Um, you'll find instructions on how you go about getting the latest update. In this video, we're going to talk about two of the newest features. Uh, Photo Stitch Wizard, of course, was already there, but it has been updated. And now we're expanding it into Photo Stitch Wizard for the long arm. So you are going to be able to do more with your long arm. Um, and I know a lot of you have had an interest in doing more embroidery, um, more things with your long arm other than just quilting a quilt top. So let's take a look at um, Art and Stitch, the program. If you are an owner of Art and Stitch uh, Plus, the add-on feature, you'll have this third toolbar. If you're an owner of Art and Stitch Base, you will only have these first two vertical toolbars. So if you, uh, after this video, if you're interested in learning more or perhaps purchasing Art and Stitch Plus, um, go on over to their website artandstitch.com really easy to find and check out a great deal they have going on right now to add on Art and Stitch Plus for your system. Um, today we're going to talk about new features that have been added. Like I said, if you go up under the Tools tab, you'll see that here is Photo Stitch Wizard. You've already had this and now we have Photo Stitch wizard for the long arm. So let's check out this first one. Let's go into Photo Stitch Wizard and I'm going to select an image from my um, desktop. I've saved some files. This is just a JPEG file and we'll click open and then I'm going to click next and this is a picture of my puppy Penny and you see that I have selected artwork. Um, this is the original picture. I've cropped down the picture of her to use, um, just her face. I don't need all this excess background material. So that is this picture here is what we are working on today. So back here in Art and Stitch, you can adjust the image size. I'm going to stay with a fairly small picture of her, or a small image of her. I, I can change it. Um, just note that. 
and here is my stitch generation that looks pretty good um, I can also um, play around here with the stitch settings if I want to make um, the stitch length not quite it was 3.0 that's a little bit of a long stitch I can also increase the density by decreasing the number and I can uh, change the colors if I wanted to go down it had 15 selected if I want to go down to just I have a 10 needle if I want to not have to change stitches I'll set it down to 10 right now we're at 16,000 stitches I'll go ahead and generate stitches and that changes it somewhat not quite what I wanted so let's go back up to 12 stitches and that's a little bit better but yeah that 15 was much better much clearer and then we'll just click finish now I can I have my um, wireframe view I can turn on the 3d to sort of get a look at what it's going to look like when it stitches out so that's a pretty good rendition of um, my puppy penny and I'll, if you are a member of my facebook group i'll try and stitch this out this is still at about 18,000 stitches and you'll notice that i am in the embroidery style i forgot to mention that make sure that you are um, in the correct style so you want to go to preferences and change if you're in quilting to the embroidery side because there is a difference if you are um, creating embroidery or quilting creating something for your long arm or creating for your um, for your long arm or for your embroidery machine there is a difference I do have classes over my website so if you'd like to know more about art and stitch or if you if you've dying been dying to know um, you have that piece of software and haven't been able to use it I do teach classes on my website so now let's go to a new design page and let's take another photo um, like I said I like to use clean photos let's go to tools and let's go to that photo stitch wizard this time I'm going to take a picture of my daughter I, this is her high school picture a couple years back and we'll click to select that one and go into next again I have choices of whether I want to crop that image down tighten it in a little bit um, I can resize it go to next and again we can change that stitch length change the density or the colors or just accept it like it is I wouldn't need I haven't changed anything so I don't need to generate stitches and I could just click the default again I'll turn on the 3d view and um, that's that's a pretty good design it is a four by five so if I zoom out a little bit it gives us a little clearer picture of what it's going to look like I can always use my navigator tool to zoom in and out of that photo but that's not all that is come in the new um, design features or the new things that have been added to art and stitch so let's go back and this time I'm going to switch over to quilting and click OK and this time I'm going to select the photo stitch wizard again here's that picture of my daughter and I'm going to reduce the number of colors we'll go down to eight we'll update that and then we will click next and there is the new feature this is called photo stitch wizard 
and this is something that you can stitch out on your long arm. So again, you can change the size, the density. Just remember to click Update. I'll leave the defaults and we'll click Finish. So there is a picture of my daughter that I can stitch out on my long arm. Isn't that a cool new feature? Now, if you don't own Art and Stitch Plus and you are a long armer, would you be interested in doing or creating sew outs just like these? Here is an example of a photograph I took uh, that I had of my mom and created this long arm design in this photo stitch wizard for the long arm. And I was quite impressed. I thought it was a pretty cool new feature. So I took it to my long arm and opened it up and I saved it in my long arm uh, design format and that's it's for uh, the Pro Stitcher Premium and I loaded it to my Pro Stitcher tablet and then here I am stitching out and it was a fun adventure. So I think if you're a long armor and you're interested in doing more embroidery on your long arm, I think you are going to love. Now if you know me at all, you know that I can't leave well enough alone. So I'm going to show you something even more fun. And this comes from the electronic cutting side of the house. I've seen this um, feature in a couple places and I thought I would have some fun playing with this. So stand by. Here we go. I've seen a couple blogs about Spiral Betty. Go to spiralbetty.com. This is a free website and a free service. So go to upload image. Just click on the center of that and I'm going to go back to my desktop and grab that picture of my daughter again and say open and I'm going to center her in the center of the page and then you can zoom in or zoom out when you're done click that little check mark and there this is designed to cut out vinyl and I thought this would be fun to play with now you can um, change the clarity of that picture and I'm going to um, increase it just slightly because I'm not I'm going to use this in art and stitch and this reminded me of that new feature that's been added so I had to play with it then over here we can change the um, coloration which isn't going to make any difference but for me visually it provides a better picture and then when I'm ready I can just click download and yay it downloads free if you're in google chrome it downloads down here in the bottom of your screen and then just check the downloads section of your computer okay let's go back to art and stitch okay i open a new design page i want to be on the quilting style because this is something i'm going to do with my long arm system and we're going to go to that photo stitch wizard for the long arm and let's select a new image. Let's go to downloads. And I've done this a few times. I'm going to catch the, the latest one that I've done. And there is my image. And let's click next. Let's reduce those colors because we want to simplify this. We don't need a lot of extra colors and then click next and it's not doing anything but you'll see that we're grayed out so just be patient don't click too many times and that didn't that isn't very clear so let's go back and let's play a little more with this image update see if that makes any changes you'll just have to keep playing with this and it's going to depend 
on the image that you got and the image that you're working with. I can change the density. Let's try playing with that. You'll see that that changes this here again. Um, it takes a little while to make a change. Just be patient. And there it did. And I'm, I'm getting some good, some not. It depends on the uh, photo that you got from the download. And I'll show you some others. But there is my sew out. Now that one's not very clear. If I zoom out, it gives me a little better image of what it's going to look like. Um, this is about a little under 8 by 8. I'll show you some of the other ones that I tried. And like I said, it's going to depend on what um, your setting was and what what image you save from the download Betty site. But I thought this is a fun way to play with this new feature, um, giving you a spiral and a line drawing. So play with this, see what you can come up with. That was my previous design. Um, I think it's just a, a fun place to um, experiment. And I'm always wanting to experiment and try to stretch things that uh, new things that I've got to play with and see what I get. You see, um, I'm getting some distortion here along the uh, side, but um, her eyes are pretty good, mouth, um, pretty good feature. So I could play with this a little bit more and fine tune it. But hey, it's what I like to do is try and stretch my... Uh, the tools that I have and the features that I have to see what I can get and create the next best thing. So go on over to artandstitch.com and check out more about Art and Stitch. Go to the Buy Now tab and see the deal that they have going on right now to add Art and Stitch Plus to your Art and Stitch base system. And don't forget to stop by my uh, website and go to classes and check out the software training that I have um, on Art and Stitch Base, Art and Stitch Plus, and other classes. And I hope to see you all soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.